All right, guys, we've got the legendary 2007 Honda Accord four cylinder again, and we will be changing the pigtail connector on the ignition coils. So uh, let's go. All right, guys, so the tools you're gonna need for this job is going to be a 10 millimeter socket, an extension, your ratchet, something to cut wire with. You're gonna need a knife, some wire strippers, or you can use the knife, it's up to you. I like the wire strippers because it makes it easier for me. You're gonna need a flathead, heat shrink, a block of wood, or some cardboard so when you're soldering, you don't make a mess. The pigtail connector, you're gonna need a lighter to shrink the heat shrink, some electrical tape, some soldering wire, and then a soldering iron. Um, I'm gonna link everything uh, in the description. If you purchase something, I get a little commission, so thanks in advance. Um, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is open it. Second thing you're gonna wanna do is disconnect your ground terminal. Grab your trusty little 10 millimeter, your handy dandy ratchet, and uh, let's take that off. Ugh. All right, once you got your terminal disconnected, we're gonna go ahead and remove this little shroud because that's where our ignition coils are. Um, so you have one, two, three, and four that we're gonna remove with your handy dandy 10 millimeter. So let's go ahead and uh, break those loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take those out and we'll continue. All right, so we got the bolts out, or the nuts, sorry, and then we're just gonna take that shroud off, toss it to the side. And now we have access to the ignition coils and the wires. So. The one we're gonna change is this one. You could see it all discombobulated and broken. So we're gonna go ahead and switch that one. We're gonna take that off with a 10 millimeter and then we will go ahead and uh, look at this uh, wiring harness. So let's go. All right, so I disconnected the coil with a 10 millimeter and my ratchet. And then all I did was to get this bad boy up. I just stuck a flat head right in the top and then I just wiggled it with one hand like that until this popped out and I did it to one, two, three, four, five, six, and then this one is on the back side right there. So just stick your flat head like that and then wiggle it gently and uh, that bad boy will pop up and now you have access to all your wires. So let's go ahead and pull this out. So I'm probably gonna take all this off and see how far it goes back to see where I'm gonna splice it in. So let me take all this duct tape, or not duct tape, electrical tape off and uh, we'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and took some of the duct tape off. Uh, sorry, I keep saying duct tape. I mean electrical tape, not duct tape, electrical tape. So if you hear me say duct tape, just know that I mean electrical tape and just take out duct tape and put in the word electrical tape. I say duct tape because I use that stuff on everything, but um, not when it comes to electrical stuff. So yeah, so sorry about that. So uh, I got it all out, the wires, I got them out. I didn't cut all of it because I'm probably gonna splice right here. Um, but yeah, so I took off all the electrical tape up until this little uh, protector right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and take out my ignition coil and then disconnect it. Uh, just make sure you remember how these are on because you're gonna have to put them back in just like that. The new connector doesn't have any colors, which sucks. So you're gonna have to remember the orientation to that. So before you take it off, take a picture, write it down, do something. But, um. Let's go ahead and uh, disconnect it and then we'll continue. All right, so I got it disconnected from the coil. So just, we're gonna remember that the red, uh, red, there is no damn red here. The black white is on the far uh, right, which is to the back of the car. And then the green yellow one is to the front of the car. Cause that's how the connector goes inside the coil. So, uh, Let's remember that because now we have to pull those bad boys out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and uh, keep going. All right, so we got the wires out. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna cut them right here at the tip. We got all this to play with, but 
I'd rather have more than enough than not enough because you can only cut once, but you can measure twice. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut these and I'm going to strip these and uh, we'll be right back. This is what I'm stripping them with. So I'll be right back. All right, so I got them stripped and then I got this bad boy stripped. So remember how the connector was supposed to go. If you forget, you can always uh, get your coil and that's where the clip goes. So it faces like that. This one faces like that is how it's gonna go. So uh, remember that the green yellow was in the front, the black was in the middle and then the black white was on the end towards the back of the vehicle. So. I'm gonna go ahead and wire this up. Uh, yeah, this is more than enough, so I might shorten it, I might not. I don't know yet, but I'm gonna go ahead, wire it up, and be right back. All right, so I put our little uh, wire protector, heat shrink, on before I go ahead and wire it up. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and wire it up. Got our heat shrink on, got it facing the right way. Uh, we remember the orientation of each cable, so go ahead and do that and be right back all right so we got them wired up now we're gonna go ahead and get our soldering iron and uh bundle these bad boys up and be right back all right so we took our little solder and then we got our soldering iron and then we just put some uh like that and then this and that so if you don't know how to solder just look it up on youtube it's very simple you might not be a pro like me but you can get the job done. By no means am I a pro, and it's just a joke. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and put our uh, heat shrink on there, melt it, and then, uh, or heat it up, and then continue. So give me a minute. All right, so let's uh, heat up our shrink, our heat shrink. I already did one. Let me show you this one. All right. So then we'll do the last one, then we'll wrap them up with electrical tape, and then we're gonna wrap the whole thing in electrical tape, and then uh, we'll continue. All right, so we have all three wrapped individually, now I'm gonna wrap them together, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wrap them into the actual uh, wire casing thingy. So um, I'll be right back. All right, so I wrapped them all together, and then I shoved them inside the uh, little wire holder um so now i'm gonna go ahead and put the little sleeve that was on here on i just cut it in half because i forgot so i cut it in half and then i'm just going to put it on there and then wrap it in electrical tape so let's go ahead and do that all right guys so i got the little sleeve back on uh, i just like i said i cut it down the middle wrapped it around and then just put electrical tape around it now we're gonna go ahead and uh, close this bad boy up just like that and uh bam bam one two one two just like that all right so now we're gonna go ahead put our coil back in slap our uh connector on there and uh see if it uh worked all right so she fit like a glove we're gonna shove her down in there and then we'll go ahead and uh tighten her up i'm gonna got a little excess but nothing wrong with that we'll just stick it back there maybe on top of that we'll find somewhere for it to go but i'd rather have more than uh not enough so i'm gonna go ahead and uh put our 10 millimeter back in button everything up and uh we'll be right back All right, guys, so we got her all buttoned up. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, put our uh, terminal or uh, terminal, our negative terminal back on. I had it halfway right, right? So we're gonna put our negative terminal back on and then uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we put our negative terminal back on, buttoned up our uh, little shroud back on the engine and um, we're good to go. So uh, if you learned something, please subscribe. That's how you replace your uh, pigtail connector on your ignition coil for a 2007 Honda Accord four-cylinder. Um, I hope this helps. And remember, if I could fix it, you could fix it.